Hi, this is John from Proper Coils, and today we're having a look at the Hadron Plus Combo Kit from Steam Crave. So here we have the Hadron Plus Combo Kit from Steamgrave. This was sent on for review by Daredevil over on Instagram. So I'll stick his Instagram tag here on the bottom. Make sure you go over and give him a follow. So on the box here, Hadron Plus Combo, you have an image of the kit and Steamgrave. On the side here, their logo. This side, their website. This side tells you which color this comes in. So this is the gunmetal version. And on the back here, you just have your usual barcodes and serial numbers. We'll open her up. So we have the mod. We have two airflow reducers. Both of these are 6mm, which is a bit strange. I thought they might go for different sizes, but both of these are 6mm. You have your Aromamizer Plus version 2 RDTA. You have a uh, Aromamizer Plus slash Ragnar Mesh deck kit. Um, I, as a coil builder, I'm not really not a fan of mesh. Rebu rebuildable mesh in particular, I'm not a fan of. Uh, we won't be um, we won't be using this because it's um, I, to be honest, with you, I find rebuildable mesh decks in general to be pretty pointless when you can put in a decent set of coils and get a better vape. Uh, but I won't go too far into that. Uh, there's an extension piece here, so you can screw this onto the RDTA. And this will bump your capacity from 8mm to 16mm, which is pretty cool. You have a spare glass. You have some O-rings, post screws, and a 510. Studded 510. And you have your three-way Barbie screwdriver. So we'll take out the mod, put that to a side for a second, and we'll take out the RDTA. And we'll also take out the extension, because I'll show you how that looks. And we'll take out one of the air flows, the air, the air reducers. On the bottom of the box then, we have a braided, this is actually a pretty decent cable, a braided US, USB it's not a type c it's a regular usb decent cable it comes with and some cotton for the mesh which we're not going to use and on the very bottom here you have your user manual for your for your device you have a sticker you have some battery wraps and you have your user manual for your rdta so that is everything in the box so we will look at the mod first and we'll zoom it in so you can actually see how big this thing is. So on the top here you have a 510. There's a, there's a angled 510 plate on the top. You can see some scratch marks though. One thing I'll say is it is it does protrude about, an, about a millimetre. Which isn't a bad thing because it stops the actual mod itself getting scratched up. But it is getting worn a bit from use. I have been using this for about four to five days. On the side here you have Steam Crave. It's a fairly clean looking mod. On, this, on the side of the device you have Hadron Plus. And the fact that that's just engraved and it's not coloured in I think is good. It's still fairly clean looking. Nothing on this side. And you have your DNA 250C. So the usual fire button. Up, down and select. And then you have your USB connection. And then the Evolve logo there. On the bottom you have your battery vent and your CE mark and your dump vape in a bin. This, the way you get your batteries in is, yeah, stick your finger in here and the door pops off. And one thing I really like, one of the things I really like about this device is the the bat or the magnets are massive, which is pretty cool. The um they go on really secure and there's absolutely no movement in the doors whatsoever. They're sewed in there. 
So on the back of the battery door, you have some warnings not to use any ripped batteries when you're using the device and Steam Crave's website and or Instagram or Facebook. But uh, yeah, I'm really impressed how big those magnets are. It's, it's It functions really well, the door. It comes with two 18650 adapters, which we will not be using. And now you have your battery sled here and you have plus and minus indicators on the bottom and the pins on the bottom here are spring loaded. So, and they're rounded as well, which is important. So it's not going to tear up your batteries when you're putting your batteries in. And that's the internals. So that's basically your mod. It is size wise. It is coming out at 98 millimeters in height. It is 58 millimeters from side to side. And then from this side, it is 34 millimeters. It will take a 34 millimeter atomizer without any overhang. The, the Aroma Miser Plus is 30 millimeters. So you've got it's comfortably, it fits comfortably on the device. And we will stick some batteries in this and I'll quickly go through the, I'll quickly go through the DNA 250C chip. So we have plus down on this side and we have minus on this side. Battery's going very easy. There is no battery sled tag. So you can see there, there is a little gap there. You can just get your nail in and the batteries come out very easy. And we pop our door on. And five clicks to start it up. And then you have to punch in your code. So your code is normally your fire button and you're into the menu. So <clears throat> this is just uh, DNA 250C. I'm sure most of you watching this have seen this shown off before. So it's up and down and select. The middle button is the select. So we go through this, the modes first. So go up to watts and hit select. And then you can cycle through up and down. So Cantal replay mode, uh, temp control, stainless steel 430, stainless steel 316, titanium, nickel 200, wattage boost, and back to watts. And you have Cantal there. So to deselect that, hit the select button and then you can change your wattage up and down. So it can go in 0 0.1 increments, but when you hold it, it will start to speed up and then it will go into one watt increments right the way up to 200 and it does not round robin. So once it gets moving, it's fairly fast. And to go into your settings, deselect and then select settings. So atomizer is your, is the resistance of the device you're using. Puff info is how many puffs you've, had, you've used in the device. You can also reset it back. Diagnostics is temperature of your device. Power using just basically a rundown of the battery, the temperature of the board, that sort of thing. System is brightness and you can change your time, your date and the unit you're using, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then back to the main screen. So people say this is a complicated board. I, I really don't think it is. Maybe it's just because I'm used to, it, used to it, but I think it's fairly easy to navigate. So that's your DNA 250C. Let's have a look at the tank. So this is the Aroma Miser Plus version 2. So it's technically an RDTA because the way the wicking works or the way the juice flow works is so the juice comes down those channels and it pools in this bottom cap. And then you can, as you can see already that I have a build in this already. So you can see, you can see there's cotton there. So basically it pools into the bottom cap like an RDTA and then it's your wicks and then to get remove your deck it just just pops out so I've already had a, have a coil built in this so this is a four millimeter three core three cores of NI 26 gauge NI80 wrapped in 36 gauge NI80 four millimeter single coil nice fat single coil for this and very easy to build on just drop your wicks in and Bob's your uncle. Easy peasy. 
So the main thing for me is just not to make sure there's no, there's no gaps. So you haven't got any gaps in either side of the where your cotton is. But also it's not stuffed in there so that you, you want that middle ground. And then the way this slots back in. So find your airflow on the side here. And there's notches on both sides just above the airflow. And then basically line if you line up the side of your coil. You'll be able to find notches line up. Once that's set in flush. Screw your bottom cap back on. And that's it. So on the top here you have Aromamizer Plus V2 RETA engraved in and you got an A10 drip tip and you've got your black o-ring on the inside. To, to fill your tank you can a couple of turns I would prefer a bayonet fitting like a quarter turn, but it's a couple of turns. And you've got two large kidney shaped holes to fill your tank. Now to get the extension piece onto this, which brings it from 8mm to 16mm, you screw your, you grab your glass and your top section together and this will all come off. So you grab your extension piece and then you add you screw on this piece, little piece you had on the tank, or tank originally, to the extension. And then you grab your glass. And then it all screws together. And then your top cap screws back on. That is a 16mm RDTA tank. There you go. Very massive. I do the just looking at it there, I do like the drip tip. Um they come they come in a variation of colours, but I really like this one. The resin resin, properly resin. Really nice. Um right, so we're going to prime the coil that I have in here already. We'll Got some nom noms nom bongo ice on it get her all saturated put her on the device and then we'll get some juice in it in this monster of a tank Yo. Uh, before actually I go through the, or I fill her up, I'll run through more of the tank. So there is juice flow control. So if I spin this, hopefully you can see it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll take that tank apart one more time. Um, show you how the juice flow control works. So you can see the holes there for your juice flow to get to your bottom reservoir. So... You have a locking mechanism, so basically that's wide open. So that is your juice flow control wide open, and then you can slide this, and that shuts it off completely. So I'd recommend doing that when you're filling it, so it's not traps the air and it doesn't uh, push juice down to your coil and flood the deck. It's very simple, and it's very well marked on the side of the RDTA. Airflow ways, you've got loads of options. So it is honeycomb airflow, but you've got you can narrow it down to one slot on both sides. Oh. Two slots and three slots is fully open and then match it matches on both sides. So plenty of airflow. So we, before we put this back together, we'll stick the the airflow reducer. So that just goes into the top of the tank. Slots in there. We get our glass and we will put this all back together. And we'll 
get a few mills in here. And we get our on the muds. So that is the Hadron Plus combo kit, all wicked up, coiled up, and juiced up. So we'll bring it back up top, and I'll give you my pros and cons. So we're back up top with the Hadron Plus combo kit from Steamcrave. The single coil 4mm 3 core alien, settled in at 0 0.24, and we're vaping it at 70 watts. Let's give it a vape. Plenty of flavour and loads of clouds. Before we get into the pros and cons, I want to just tidy up a couple of things. So the airflow reducers that, the two airflow reducers that it comes with, I didn't realise this until I sort of took it apart a bit more after the download. You can get, the, the reason they give you the two of the same airflow reducers is because you can pop one in the bottom section and then you can also pop one in the extension section. <laughs> so that's why you've got two. This thing comes in three different colours, so it comes, I'll pop them up on the screen now, so it, it comes in this gunmetal, also stainless steel and black, and the tanks will come to match as well. So, into the, into the cons, so the first con is going to be a con, but it might be a pro for some people, but it, it's both basically, but it, I'll put it in the con section anyway, it's very, very large. The, like I have big hands but it's still it's still a big it's a big mod in my hand even and um the RDTA is a bit ridiculous looking with the extension on it but uh, if I was to use this regularly I would have the normal section on it because I just I, I can't I can't get used to how big that thing looks <laughs> um price wise this is coming in at 150 pound so it's not the cheapest setup you can buy, which is which is probably a con for some people. But I, then again, when I get into the pros, like the build quality is very good and it's a DNA 75 chip. So, you know, the chip's going to be accurate and reliable. So some people aren't going to mind paying 150. Some people are. So the another con is the deck chamber size. So the, fa the fact that you've got a big chunky mod, you've got a big chunky RDTA, I, you're going to struggle to get like big, big coils in this. Now, I know I have a four mil single coil alien in there, but I'd like to be able to fit in a set of series aliens or a set, just like a big chunky set of five core, five core. You probably get five core aliens in this, but coils that have like six, seven, eight wraps, maybe four millimeters dual coil, you're, you're not going to get them in there. I'd like to see, for something that's going to give you this much power and this much airflow, I'd like to see the chamber size for the coils bigger. Something like, something down the lines of like a Voltro where you can stick 5mm dual coils in there. That If they're going to make, again, if they're going to make it this big, why not make it compatible with like really big coils? So that's going to be a con. The fact that the top, it's only a small thing, but the fact that the top fill is, is, um, Two screws, not a massive deal, but two screws to get the top cap off. Why not just have a bayonet fitting there? Now, it's it's secured very well, and it tightens down very well. There's no issues with the build quality, as I said before, but why not, like the bayonet fitting, I don't, most things should have bayonet fittings now at this stage, Um, so that's going to be a con. Into the pros then, so the build quality is outstanding. It's built like a brick shithouse. It's, um... Everything is just solid. There's a big, good bit of weight to it. Everything is clean looking as well. So that's going to be another pro. The only, the only branding you have is there. Hadron Plus on the side, which isn't in your face because it's not standing out because it's the same color as the body of the mud. And then you've got a little steam crave on the bottom here. So nice, clean looking mud and not so much with the tank. There is a bit of branding on the tank. But I think the two go well together. The magnets are a massive pro for me. So these magnets are absolutely huge. 
You can see there how big the magnets are on top and bottom. The door is not going to go anywhere, and those magnets are going to last a long, long time. The um, There is absolutely no movement on the door whatsoever. The chip set is obviously going to be a pro because it's a DNA, and I love my DNAs like a lot of people do, so that's going to be a big pro. The capacity is obviously going to be a pro because it's absolutely huge. It can With this extension, it's 16 mil, and even without the extension, normal size looking already RDTA, it is 8 mil, which is loads. Lastly, then just the looks I've said already with the looks, yeah. So nice, clean, no, no branding. That's that's basically everything. Um, so that was the review of the Hadron Plus combo kit from Steam Crave. If you liked the review or like the reviews in general, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. If you're looking for any handmade coils, make sure you head over to propercoils.com. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.